Recap Photo is a web service to automatically convert photographs shot round an object or a scene into photorealistic 3D models using the power of cloud computing on Autodesk 360. The photographs can be shot with any standard digital camera. This video will teach you how to take the right photos in four different use cases. A fixed object, an interior, a person's face and a building. Autodesk Recap Photo will capture the 3D model of any fixed object by shooting several pictures round this object. Framing is very important. Make sure to center your photo on the object to capture and avoid shooting the surroundings that will not be useful. You can either use the landscape or the portrait modes and even mix the two if you want. Very transparent and shiny objects are almost impossible to stitch together. You must take a picture every 5 to 10 degrees around the object. So around 40 to 50 pictures to cover the entire 360 degrees of the object. You can also shoot multiple rows of images at various heights to cover all possible areas of your object. It's better not to use a flash since it will create unwanted shadows that will vary from one viewpoint to the next. Do not forget the top views to capture the object in full. Note that more than one picture is necessary to capture the 3D of each area of the object. So for any close-up, shoot a few pictures from different viewpoints around to create the necessary 3D information. You can then save your pictures on your disk. Browse your pictures first to check all of them and remove all the fuzzy, underexposed or overexposed ones. Autodesk Recap Photo needs clear and sharp images to get a good result. You'll then need to upload your pictures to your A360 space. From there, they'll be sent to the Photo to 3D servers to compute the corresponding photorealistic 3D model. You can preview the result using the Recap Photo 3D Web Viewer or even view it in 3D on your smartphone. Creating a 3D model of an interior can be very easy with Autodesk Recap Photo if there's enough texture information on the walls, the floor and the ceiling. The best shooting strategy is to shoot each wall from the opposite one and then turn around inside, always including most of the room in each picture. In each standing position, you can shoot more than one picture to cover the floor and the ceiling as well. Make sure that those pictures overlap by at least 50%. Recap Photo will then compute the 3D geometry of your room. If you have uniform surfaces that can't be stitched with Recap Photo, you can artificially create texture information by simply sticking colored paper sheets randomly on the walls. The more random the paper, the better the results. Creating a 3D model of a person's face is very easy with Autodesk Recap Photo. The most important rule to follow is to make sure that the person stays absolutely fixed during the shooting. Recap Photo does not allow for any motion at all. Even a change in a smile when shooting around will end up with a bad 3D model. Shoot a picture every 5 to 10 degrees, keeping the person's face at the center of your pictures. You'll need to shoot from several angles, not only horizontally but also vertically, to make sure you cover the entire face including the chin and the top of the head. Remember that any part of the face must be seen from a few different viewpoints to be reconstructed in 3D. Note that Recap Photo sometimes has poor success building the back of the head due to the uniformity of the human hair. You'll get a photorealistic 3D model of the person that you can also preview on Autodesk 360 or edit after you've downloaded the 3D model. In the case of a building, a first recommendation is to schedule your shot using a Google Earth view. 
This will help to check the possibility to access the various viewpoints. You'll need to take a picture every 5 to 10 degrees roughly, so about 40 to 50 pictures if you want to get the full 360 degrees of the building. Shooting from street level, make sure to select the right spots. Avoid shooting with moving objects in front, foreground trees that would hide your building. Be careful also to avoid underexposed or overexposed photos. Do not zoom in too much. The best camera for street-level pictures is a digital SLR equipped with a wide-angle lens. A 10mm lens is a perfect tool. You can then simply walk around and stop every few meters to shoot the pictures. When moving around, make sure to shoot enough pictures to ensure a good overlap between each picture. Autodesk Recap Photo will do a good job if there's a good visual continuity between each viewpoint. It's always better if you can capture most of the building in each photo. If you have the chance to shoot additional pictures from high viewpoints, such as from neighboring buildings, please do. If you use a compact camera, you can artificially create wide-angle viewpoints as well. In every location where you stand, you simply rotate the camera around yourself shooting several overlapping photos to simulate a wide-angle lens and to cover the entire building from each of those locations. Make sure that the photos that you shoot from each standing point overlap by at least 50%. Recap Photo will then create the photo textured 3D model for you. You can add close-ups if you want to get more details and some interesting parts of the building. In this case, shoot again several pictures around these parts. The computed 3D geometry will have a higher density in such parts. One last step, don't forget to measure one or several reference distances if you want to further scale your 3D scene inside Recap Photo. Thanks for using Autodesk Recap Photo. You can access this service from Autodesk 360 website. Give it a try.